Brian McKeever is the winner of the Paralympic Sport Award 2007 for Best Male Athlete. He just came back from Vokati, Finland, where he won another gold medal. Uh, I'm Brian McKeever from Canada, and I'm in the cross-country skiing for visually impaired. I've been skiing since I was probably two or three, tootling around the backyard, and uh, dad was a phys ed teacher, and uh, mom and dad both liked skiing, so they uh, they got us going, and of course having an older brother who was into that as well, that uh, certainly helped me along, and uh, you know, went the usual route through clubs and provincial teams, and finally junior national teams, and uh, it was right around that time that I started to lose my eyesight uh, with a genetic genetic disease called Stargardt's disease, and uh, not something that we knew was a possibility because dad had it and it's a big uh, obviously a huge genetic component to that and uh, as much as it wasn't a surprise necessarily it's always a little bit hard to to learn that you're gonna you're gonna lose your eyesight but uh, you know I, I think uh, having dad as a role model there uh, watching how he had gotten through uh, through life with the uh, with the disease certainly made it easier for me to cope and uh, I actually didn't even think about uh, you know about changing the path too much just uh, figured I'd keep skiing as long as it was safe and things like that and uh, it was actually the Canadian disabled ski team that approached me and uh, the head coach one day came up to me and asked if I ever gave any thought to racing in the Paralympic uh, Paralympics and uh, I think I laughed at him the first time because I at that point still hadn't even thought of myself as having disability and uh, you know and, and actually at the time I wasn't legally blind either so not at the point where I could race so but it kind of started that whole ball rolling and uh, you know it stuck it in my mind and Robin and I talked about it quite a bit and uh, eventually when the eyesight did get down there it seemed like a really good option and uh, you know I certainly wouldn't have changed it for the world now. In 2002, at the Paralympics, that uh, I had a kind of a unique experience, I think, for me, and it was uh, we had just won one of the races, and, and one of the other guys had come up, and uh, Josef Giesen from Germany, he has no arms, and he came up, and he had won the, the race uh, as well, and uh, I was congratulating him, and he congratulated me, gave me a big hug, and said, I can never do what you do, and I asked him to elaborate, and he said, well, you know, to, if you don't have full eyesight to go as fast as you do is so impressive so impressive and I thought here's a guy with no arms that's thinking that what I have is worse than what he has and here I am thinking what I, what he has is worse than me and it, it suddenly occurred to me that you know I, I do have a, a disability that prevents me from going as fast as perhaps I could and that that world was where I belonged and that I think it was like a big it's, it's like a big support group for each other as well and that we're very proud of each other's accomplishments regardless of nation or disability or, or what have you and, and uh, it's a really neat family to be a part of. Good race, Brian. Congratulations. Yeah, very good. And you? Yeah, nice and nice. Have a great right. congratulations. Thank you. Good, good job. Here. Yes, yeah, well, okay. Eighth oh, place, I think. Eighth place. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Very good. Very good for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ideally for a... Uh, ideally for a blind or visually impaired athlete, the guide would ski in front of the athlete the whole time for drafting purposes, but also if the athlete does have some vision, it's easier to follow somebody closely that he knows. And uh, at this stage of the game, with a totally blind athlete, you're dealing with a lot more of just, you know, being aware and constantly keeping them on course. But dealing with somebody like my brother, you're dealing, it's just... The, his physical ability is so high and he can see enough that he's full on racing with you and there's only probably half a dozen guys in the country who are even capable of guiding Brian. So my brother, my guide Robin, he's, uh, he's a huge part of uh, what I do and uh, 
easily my biggest mentor in the sport. And, uh, you know, he's the guy that, he was the footsteps that I followed when I was just a kid. And, you know, while he was on the national team, that's where I wanted to be. So, uh, and to this day, I value his opinion in skiing over every, anybody else. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great to be able to work daily with somebody like that who has that much knowledge. You know, follow the dreams because you know if you want to be a hockey player, if you want to be a skier, if you want to be whatever, just put your mind to it and you can do it. And uh, don't let anybody slow you down. And uh, you know if if that's really what you love, then everybody else around you will, uh, I think, will will get behind you and then makes it that much easier too.